Thanks very much for joining me. This is the show Never Heard That, and my name is Andrew Mukey. We are going to be listening to the song Instrumental Number no. 2 by My Bloody Valentine, which was released as part of a bonus 7 inch single that was issued with their 1988 album Isn't Anything. My Bloody Valentine are a rock band formed in Dublin, Ireland in 1983. The lineup that is most recognised has been together since 1987 and includes Kevin Shields on vocals, guitar and sampler, Colm O'Kersog on drums and sampler, with Belinda Butcher vocals and guitar and Debbie Googe on bass. Although they were busy as a band in the preceding years, it was the addition of Butcher that settled that particular lineup. The period from 1988 to 1991, when they were signed to the label Creation Records, is a time of significant achievement for the band and they were able to etch themselves into musical folklore. Their first EP, You Made Me Realise, consisting of five songs recorded in five days, was released in 1988. The EP was very well received by the independent press, particularly for its innovative guitar sounds and debuted at number two on the UK indie charts. They released their debut album, Isn't Anything, soon thereafter in November 1988, and that debuted at number one on the charts and was seen as the foundation of what was to be termed shoegazer rock. In early 1989, My Bloody Valentine began recording their second record, which Creation Records believed was to be done very quickly. It was soon realised that this was not going to be the case. A compromise was the release of another EP in early 1990 called Glider. Containing the lead single soon, Shield's glide guitar technique is right at the fore. Further delays led to a second EP called Tremlo with the lead single To Hear Knows When. Both EPs charted very highly. Released in November 1991, Loveless, the follow-up album, was rumoured to have cost over £250,000 and to have bankrupted Creation Records. Although praised essentially by all, the album was not a commercial success and failed to chart anywhere other than the UK, and the band ended up being dropped by Creation soon after its release. Overall, the sound of the band, particularly with the unique guitar approach by Shields, was considered very influential. The Smashing Pumpkins, Hole and U2 cited them as influences on the work they were doing at the time. Vernon Reid, the outstanding guitarist from Living Colour, claimed Loveless as one of his favourite albums of the year. Loveless continues to be rated very highly in top 100 lists. I was certainly impressed with the album, and the singles soon and To Hear Knows When are particularly impressive. Please seek both of these tracks out. Having said that, the band will not be everyone's cup of tea. They are loud and boisterous. Apparently in concert they can be ear-bleedingly loud. My Bloody Valentine did finally end up releasing a follow-up to Loveless in 2013, and that was called MBV. A series of live shows followed the album, and there are actually plans for more recordings to be released in the near future. I have chosen a song which I think is a link between the first two albums, where Shields starts to really work on his slide-style approach to guitar playing that he then became famous for. I believe that it provides a real insight into how they built up the songs that became Loveless. If you like this next song, please seek out To Hear Knows When, which is really quite extraordinary. Here is the track, instrumental number two, by My Bloody Valentine, which was released as a part of a bonus 7-inch single that was issued with their 1988 album, Isn't Anything. (laughs) 